Hello and good day. We're highly welcome for today's tutorial. On the board, we have a question under the two column cash book. So let's quickly solve this question. Now, the question went straight ahead without telling us if we are to solve for one column, two column, or three column cash book. But just like I told us in the previous video, the single column cash book, I told us that most questions are going to specify what we're going to use if it's going to be a one column cash book or a two column cash book. Unlike this question, you just went ahead to give us to, to, to you just went ahead to present the questions for us to answer. Now, as I told us, when you read through the questions, once you happen to find out that it has to do with a bank and a cash account, it simply means it's two column cash book. Then where well, well, you see the discount received, allowed, and so on and so forth, it has to do with the three column cash book. So from the question here, we can see start a business with cash in hand, one for an at bank. 4,000. Probably no need of going through. You can already tell it's a two-column cash book. So let's proceed. January 1st, started business with cash in hand, 1,400, and cash at bank, 4,000 naira. So started business is a capital, all right? So we'll come right January 1st, capital. And how much is the capital? We have 1,400 cash in hand. So under the cash section, we record 1,400. And bank, 4,000. So under the bank, we record 4,000. So that is it for the first question. Then the second question, January 4th, cash sales, 6,000. Cash sales, you made a sale, right? So money came into your account. How much? 6,000 naira. So we have January 4th. Sales, sales of 6,000 naira. So remember, you see cash sales, cash sales. So you record the transaction on that cash. How much? 6,000. The next one, January 6th, paid for wages in cash, 1,000 naira. So paid for wages is an expenses. The money went out of the account. You paid for, an, for your wages. So we have January 6th, wages. And how much is the payment? We paid 1,000 Naira in cash. So we record under the cash account, in cash. So January 9th, we have purchase of goods with check, 3,000, purchases. The money went out, purchase, you bought something, okay? So purchases of goods with check. That is January 9th, we have purchases. How much is it? 3,000 Naira with check. So record under the bank account. 3,000 Naira. Now the next one says January 12th, received from Charles by check, 3,000. You received from Charles. So it simply means the money came into the account. So you write the title, the owner, the person that gave, gave you the money, which is Charles. So you present Charles and you record under the bank account 3,000. So let's go January 12th, we have Charles. And how much is it? 3,000 by check. So under the bank account, we record 3,000. Then on the 17th, paid rent with cash, 500 Naira. Paid rent, so you paid for your rent, it's an expenses. It's coming over to the credit side. So rent. And how much is it? 500 in cash. So record under the cash account. Then the next one, January 20, withdrew cash from bank. Yes, you video. That's what we call a contra entry. A situation whereby the transaction has to do with the bank and the cash. Now, to record this transaction, as we can see, we draw cash from the bank. This account, this particular transaction, will reflect on the two sides of the cash book, on the debit side and on the credit side. So, we draw cash from the bank. When you come to the debit side, you write the date, January 20. We draw cash from the bank. Then you write bank. And how much is it? 900. So since you, you wrote bank here, you come under the cash account to record the figure. And you identify under your folio, C, 
that shows it's a contra entry. Then you come over to the next transaction to the credit side. You write the same date again, January 20. Then on the credit side, you represent it as cash. Then you put the transaction under the bank. So contra entry as well. Under bank accounts, you write 900. That is it for January 20. Okay? Now the next one says cash sales paid directly into bank 2500 cash sales remember anything how to identify a cash entry sorry a contra entry once it has to do with the bank and cash it's simply a contra entry but a situation whereby a question tells you withdraw cash from the bank for personal use it is not a contra entry then if you want to record that it goes to the credit side and it's being recorded as drawings but here where we have withdrew cash from the bank for business use or withdrew cash from the bank, that just has to do with a contra entry because the money went through the cash account and the bank account. So January 23, we have cash sales paid directly into the bank. Now the cash sales was paid into the bank, unlike here where we withdrew the cash from the bank for the business use. So how we record this is a contra entry as well. When we come over to the debit side, we'll write the date. What is the date? This is January 23rd. So January 23rd, cash sales paid into the bank. You write your cash and you record it under the cash account. Sorry, the cash, you record it under the bank account. How much is it? 2005. Then you come over to this, you identify as well a contra entry. Now, on the January 23rd, the same date, you record as bank under the particulars. Then when you come to the cash column, you now record the price 2500 You identify that it's a contra entry. So that is it for January 23rd. Then January 25th, you have paid general expenses with check. These are expenses as well. So the money is going out of your account. January 25th, expenses, general expenses, and how much is it? 600 by check, so we'll record under the bank account, we have 600 by check. So January 27, received from EMA by check, you received from EMA, so the money came into the account as well, so received from EMA by check 450 naira you write the name emma by check right 450 so under the bank account you record 450 january 27 so we we'll move over to 29th we we'll have paid wages in cash the money is also going out of the account so paid wages in cash 500 is an expenses it comes to the credit side wages in cash so we we'll record under the cash account how much is it 500 then we'll move over to the last one january 31st purchase of goods with check 1000 you made a purchase of goods is an expenses as well the money went out of the pocket so we we'll record january 31st purchases And how much is it? 1,000 Naira in check. So record under the bank account. So with this, every entry, every question we have here has been entered into the cash book. So let us close the account. As I told us in the previous video, to close the account, you leave one space, one line. Okay? So you leave one line. You can see the line we left here. Then we do this. This is how we get our final answer. This is where we get it. Okay, so the normal step again. We calculate everything we have here. We calculate everything we have here. Now, 1,004 plus 6,000 is 7,400 plus 900. That is what? 8,300. We just write it out somewhere. Let's just write it out somewhere. We'll write 8,300. Okay, they'll calculate this. This is 7,000, this is 95, and this is 9,950. So this is 9,950. 
Now, this is the entry, the, 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 the total of uh, debit side. So let us check the credit side. So we'll know the one that has the bigger value because it is the bigger value that we use to balance the account. Now, we'll calculate this 1,015. Then plus this one, it's 3,045. Sorry, 45. So we have 45 over here. And what do we have here? 3,901,615. -615. And this one gives us a total of 5,500. Now, to compare these figures, we can see the amount we have on our debit side is greater than what we have on the credit side. So we'll pick the figure. We have 8,300. We also have 9,950. So coming to this side, we repeat it, 8,300 and 9,950. Okay, so how do we get the values here? This 8,300 minus 4,500 gives us what? A total of 3,800. And that is what we'll have here. So that by the time we calculate everything we have here, it's going to sum up to give us 8,300. Now, 9,950 minus 5,500 gives us a total of 4,450. 4,450. As I told us earlier, the date we have here, the last date of the month, this is January. So we now have what? January 31st. This is what our balance balance carried down our balance cd is now 3800 and 4450 then we'll come over to the debit side coming over to the debit side we'll write the last date in sorry the first date in the next month which is february so we have february 1st balance cd balance bd which is our balance brought down it's how much 3800 and 4,450. Okay, and that is it. So try as much as you can to keep practicing these questions. If you have questions or you need clarification, you can leave a comment below. You can also visit our website to download this video so you have it in your phone. So that anytime you want to practice, you can go through it while you solve other questions. I wish you the best in your examinations and all you do. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.